When the Minnesota Fighting Vikings released star running back Dalvin Cook last Friday, it was a little bit emotional. Like Dalvin had a nice goodbye to the Vikings fans, uh, Quasi ownership, Kevin O'Connell, a bunch of players had tributes to number four. Dalvin Cook is very much beloved with this organization. And I, I got the feeling at the time that it wasn't a hundred percent. The door was closed. Like I felt like the door was ajar, just a smidge that maybe Dalvin would check out the market, see it isn't all that and potentially return to purple for one more season. And I uh, thinking, okay, maybe that's pie in the sky stuff. But then Kirky, Jerome, Ezekiel cousins, uh, talked about potentially getting Dalvin back. Uh, Kevin Seifert, who's not Carl Gershman, uh, Kirk on recently released Dalvin cook quote. I'm excited to see where he goes. I'll always be pulling for him. I'm kind of optimistic, hoping maybe we get him back. Who knows? Maybe there is an outside chance. We'll see. End quote. Now cousins doesn't speak out of school. Like, he definitely toes the company line. So, I don't think that he would just say this just to say it. Just to, like, complain about the team releasing a star player. Which, ostensibly, that could be seen as that. But, I'm sure that there's been conversations in that building about working things out with number four. Where... You've seen this happen before. Darius Slay got released and then brought back. Fletcher Cox got released and brought back. You see this around the league a lot where a team will release a veteran from a bad contract and potentially bring them back on a lesser deal, After, especially after the player realized, like, okay, I've been here forever. I don't want to move my kids out of school. I don't want to sell my house. I don't want to do this or that or the other thing, What, whatever. We'll just run it back. Plus, the market may be a little bit tepid. So, I, again, I feel like this is something that's – that's a conversation that Kirk has had with teammates, maybe even Kevin O'Connell, maybe even Quasey, because I, I don't think that he just makes this up on whole cloth. I really don't. And then also you get into the social media watchdog stuff. So uh, Dalvin on, on the old Twitter machine, liked like to tweet uh, talking about Kirk Cousins already missing Dalvin Cook. Now it could be re- read as, hey, uh, I, I have a lot of respect for Kirk Cousins and game respects game. I'm glad that he misses me or run it back. Mm. And I, I I couldn't find a decent Dalvin Cook Vikings jersey swap, so here you go. You're welcome, America. Mm. And, yes, the sticking point with Dalvin was his $10.4 million base salary. The Vikings clearing up some cap space. They they didn't necessarily need to do it, uh, but they couldn't work things out. They couldn't work out a trade. Teams weren't championing the bit to pay him $10.4 million bucks. And I know that Dalvin's camp has been talking – yeah, pretty large. You know, looking for a significant contract. Dalvin uh, in the media saying that he's looking for a team that values Dalvin Cook. But, I mean, six weeks until training camp, I think that he's going to find the market is a little bit tepid uh, at, at this point. And also, you think about some other free agent running backs that are out there. Zeke Elliott, Kareem Hunt, uh, playoff uh, Leonard Fournette. Uh, so, you do have a handful of running backs are in that 27, 28 year old range uh, that are rugged veterans for sure. And yeah, I do think that Dalvin has more tread left on the tire than uh, Fournette or Zeke or Kareem Hunt. But also, are you going to pay Dalvin 10 versus having Zeke at two? Probably not. I, I don't think you're going to go down that route. And yeah, I think I absolutely think that Dalvin has some tread left on the tire. Do I think that he's going to have another thousand yard season? Like, would I wager on it? No, but do I think that he could provide a spark in a reduced role at the running back position? Yes, I, I certainly do. You know, uh, reducing his touches from you know 20, 22 a game down to I don't know 12, 14 somewhere in there, keep him fresh later in games, keep him fresh later in the season. Uh, I think that certainly could and should be a possibility. And uh, like we mentioned, Spot Rack estimates his market value 8.7. I would be shocked if he gets anything more than five six somewhere in there. So it, it could be a spot where, you know, Dalvin checks out the market. And you know, if the Dolphins, Broncos, Jets, Cowboys were uh, fully 100% in on him, I feel like he would be signed by now. Uh, it, it's been a week. And if a team was completely jonesing and, and just like really wanting to give Dalvin seven, eight, nine, nine, ten million bucks a year, it would be done like that. Right. But I think that teams, especially given this break, I think they're just going to wait. And Dalvin does have uh, $2 million guaranteed from the Vikings or you know, $2 million guaranteed in income, whatever team signed him, if that offsets. So he can buy it his time. He really can. And I think that he is going to find that his market ain't all that. So I think that there could be some reasons why Dalvin would come back. Number one, if he doesn't get that significant offer, I think that he... Like we mentioned, there are other veteran options out there. You know, Zeke, Kareem Hunt, Fournette, 
and that could impact what he could get. Plus, a lot of teams have spent up their cap at this point. Their uh, their rosters are relatively set. They're 90 mans. And I, I, I don't see it. I, I just don't see a clear spot where a team is just going to plop down 8, 9, 10 million bucks or what Dalvin wants at, at this point in time. Uh, so I, I think that he may be rolling into training camp without a team. And maybe a week or two into training camp, he realizes, like, okay, this game of musical chairs, it ain't working out. Maybe I'll wait to see if there's an injury because, like I said, the Vikings are on the hook for at least $2 million guaranteed. Either they pay it or his new team pays it. So maybe he can just wait, collect some $2 million game checks as he's waiting for a spot. But I don't think that he's built like that. I think that Dalvin wants to play. I think that he thinks that he can contribute this season. I think he certainly can too. And the Vikings, they, they did entertain ideas of bringing Dalvin back at a reduced rate. That's why it took so long after that June 1st deadline. So I think that I think that if the Vikings did come in with an offer, say $4 million plus incentives, I think that could actually get it done. And he's had success in this offense. You know, the big-time runs last year, yes, career low uh, yards per carry. Some of that was on the O-line. Some of that was uh, just Dalvin uh, being a little bit older. But don't expect the same production uh, from a 28-year-old Dalvin this season from a uh, versus a 25, 26-year-old Dalvin. I, I don't think that's going to happen, but I think he certainly could still be an important piece of this offense if he does come back. The locker room loves him, and even though you know, Alexander Madison ostensibly will be losing his job to a degree, even though I think if uh, Dalvin comes back and it, it would be more of a split role running back by committee. I mean, Madison said in his interview with Schefter that he loves Dalvin like a brother and you know, wishes him nothing but success, whether here, there, or, or wherever. So I think that it wouldn't be a running it back with Dalvin. I don't think would upset the chemistry of the locker room since the locker room does have great reverence for him. And also, I think that he's seeing the pieces of this offense with Jefferson and Addison and Kirk Cousins, this offensive line being rebuilt. I think that he could have some fear of missing out on a chance for a ring, especially here in Minnesota a community and team that he's grown to uh, hold very close to his heart. And I, I think it's possible, even though obviously the Vikings would be good to go if they didn't bring Dalvin back. I, I believe in Madison, King Kenne, and Ty Chandler, and Dwayne McBride. But, I mean, if Dalvin wants to come back at a reduced rate and a reduced role, and if that's possibly the best that he could get uh, on free agency, I, again, it's a remote chance. I might put it at like 2%, but also it's a non-zero chance. So I think that's a super interesting storyline as Dalvin continues to be a free agent float out there. I think that he, I think that it's unlikely that he signed before training camp at this stage, you know, given, um, you know, the, the chest puffing, uh, from his agents and his side saying that they want, want a big contract. I just don't see that materializing, uh, at this time, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Run it back with Dalvin. Maybe. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes on support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.